Hello, welcome. Hi, everyone. Hey there, thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Amanda, this is my mom, Sherry. We are designers at Grace Monroe Home where we make the ordinary front door extraordinary. And tonight we're gonna to be making a Hocus Pocus Halloween wreath. Yes, we are. This one's gonna be fun and I am crazy about these colors. So it is gonna be a lot of fun to make. So when you hop on, just say hello and let us know where you're watching from. And uh, we would certainly appreciate it if you would share this. That just helps us out so much and we appreciate that so, so much. I have got some neat things here that we're gonna be using. Look at my little cats, my black cats. And Hello, I, Vicki. Hey, Carrie. Vicky. Hey, Carrie, good to see you. Donna, thank y'all so hey, much for Donna. joining us tonight. Hey, Cindy. And, and Sandra. Sandra. Hey, Sandra, I hope you're doing well, Sandra. But we've got some cute little orange pom-poms and some black leaves and just some cute flowers. So I'm excited about this one. Yeah, and so what we've done, we already have our 18-inch grapevine wreath base. Yes. So we've already attached our sign, which is just a wooden sign that we got from Hobby Lobby. And we have a pumpkin that was actually hand-painted by a friend of ours. Yes. So she just used a regular um, pumpkin, styrofoam pumpkin that you can get at any craft store. She painted it orange, and then she just painted the black lines and white dots. So it's really simple yes. um, to make these and to kind of make them stand out and pop for your wreath. Yes. And she does a good job, and these came out so cute. And so we have, and the way that I uh, glued this onto the wreath is I use leftover stems. I actually stick it into the wreath itself, glue it, uh, put glue on it first, and then stick it into the bottom of the wreath, and then stick it uh, through the grapevine. And so that's what I've done. I've actually got two sticks, one on each side, and that holds it. I mean, it is very secure. So. And uh, like she said, then we just wired on the sign. So uh, we're going to get started here. And hello from Mississippi, she said. So have any of you, if you're wreath makers, have you started on your Halloween designs yet? I, oh, these are always so much fun to make. I love doing Halloween. Uh, they're probably one of my favorites because anything goes. You can you cannot get too wild and crazy for a Halloween wreath. Anything goes. And believe me, I have tried all kinds of crazy things. So it's just a lot of fun. All right, guys. So when you hop on, um, let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to see how far these little videos go. Yeah. And so just let us know um, where you're watching from in the comments. Yes. And if you're just joining us and you've never watched our show, my name's Amanda Kleckler. This is my mother, Sherry Buckner, and we are designers with Grace Monroe Home, where we make the ordinary front door extraordinary, and we know that you can too. Definitely. So tonight we've got a really fun, whimsical Halloween wreath. I'm going to go ahead and start making my bow. So I've got several different ribbons that I'm going to be using tonight. I've got some really fun Halloween print ribbons. These are two and a half inch wired ribbon. This is, some, this is black spider web. Then I've got some four inch, um, this is wired striped ribbon, and it's four inches. And then I've got a one and a half inch Halloween themed ribbon. Yes, it's gonna be a cute bow. And that is one thing with the Halloween wreaths. The, the ribbons make all the difference with these. Some, you know, I'm, I'm one of those that I do like to make wreaths occasionally and not put a bow on them, just make the wreath itself. But these, they need ribbon. So let me get this where we can see. Yes, hopefully, let me see if I can scoot over. And what we're, we always have people to ask, uh, this is a Surebonder glue skillet that we're using. It is their professional grade and we use this all the time to stick the stems in and glue to our wreath. So um, that is one thing that people always ask and she will be making the bow using the Bodabra. 
So, so I'm going to make my tails different lengths because we're going to be curling some of the tails. Yes. So I'm going to have some longer. This is about 18 inches. And then I'm going to have some that are about 12 inches. And thank you guys so much for joining us. And if you know someone who would love to see this video, make sure that you guys share it with them. Yes, we would appreciate that. And I've got some pretty orange hydrangeas that I'm going to add. This ribbon's actually kind of neat because it's a felt ribbon, so it kind of it feels a little different. It's kind of interesting. I love these hydrangeas. They are so pretty, so full. So I'm just going to rotate my um, tails. I'm doing 18 inches, then 12 inches. And uh, I'm just going to rotate like that. Hey, Cindy and Mercy. Welcome. Debbie from Kentucky. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate it so much. And I know we've got several ladies. Hey, Lori. Um, from our Design with the Pros Club, and uh, so I want to say a special hello to all of you. I see Mary and Lori, and who else did you say? I know you said somebody. Cindy's in here. Cindy's in here. here. Yeah, we've got several, so we are so happy that you are joining us, and uh, if you are interested in our Design with the Pros Club, we teach you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make the wreaths as well as if you are interested in selling them we teach you how to sell them online we have been doing this for 11 years a little over 11 years now and uh, so we know all the tricks and all the things that work and all the things that don't work so uh, we are teaching all of our people in our group that okay guys so I'm making my loops about six inches so these are six inch loops on each side and I'm gonna do um, probably two of each um, pattern on each side. Yes. Hey, Debbie, and thank you, Debbie, for sharing that. And I saw Joyce for my group in here. Hey, Joyce. Uh, let's see. Naomi's here and Sherry's here. So we're so glad to have you all join us. You know, when you're using a bow dabber, you do want to make sure that you're twisting your ribbon. If it's not the same on both sides, you want to make sure that you're twisting it so that the um, pattern side is facing up. And I am going to step away because I forgot something. I will be right back. And so if you guys are new to our channel or if, you, um, if you're a first-time viewer, we welcome you. Thank you so much for joining us. This wreath is going to be a lot of fun to make. Hey Mary, thank you for joining us tonight. And Sheila, Sonia, hey Sonia. And I'm just waiting for my bow because uh, I know that a lot of people put theirs on last. I like to put mine on to begin with. It helps me with, uh, you know, seeing exactly where I want to place everything. So I'm just kind of hanging out until she gets my bow done. So not rushing you. Take your time. <laughs> but look at these cute pom-poms. Are they not the cutest things? Hey, Connie. Good to see you tonight. Thank hey, you for Connie. joining us. I love that ribbon. Yeah, I love this ribbon too. I was gonna make make sure that I 
but I got all my loops in there and so I'm just going to press down really hard because I want to make sure that I can get it wired really tightly. That's the key to keeping the Bodabra bow really full and sturdy. It definitely is. Okay, so you want to make sure that your wire is really tight. Oh, uh, Lori said she saw the pom-poms. Yes, I got these at Michael's. Aren't they the cutest? They had them in this and in black. And if you guys want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do a Bodabra bow, I do have um, some on our YouTube channel at Grace yes. Monroe Home. So just find us on YouTube. We also have other tutorials on YouTube that you can watch, wreath making tutorials. Yes, we do. Hey, Marge. So She's now I'm just going to cut hey, all Robin. of the extra ribbon. And you will see, we just, when we're making our bows, we just kind of throw the rolls on the floor. It just kind of makes it easier for us. All right. So, I'm going to try to tighten that just a little bit more, and I'll let you fluff, fluff the bow. And I'm going to start gonna on make a second one. bow. Yes. Hey, Linda. Hey, Joy. Thank you for joining us tonight. All right. Okay, so do you want tails on this second bow? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, please. If if you have enough. Norm just reg small tails. Yeah, just regular, tails. just regular sign. And you will see that um, we don't have this planned out. We are designing. No, I'm as designing we go. <laughs> it as I go. So I just just hope it comes out all right. You will see how this is how I work. Uh. I have found that even if I plan something and work on designing it and have it all just like I think it's going to be, and then when we do a live, it ends up looking nothing like what I had originally planned. So it just works better if we just go with it. Hey, Brittany, thank you for joining us tonight. Hey, Joy. We're happy to see you. And for those that are just joining, I'm just fluffing the bow here. This ribbon is all of it. I love all of these ribbons. Brandy, you can purchase a Bodabra. It's called a Bodabra, and it's mm -hmm. um, that's what the bow maker is called. And you can purchase those at most any craft store. We'll also include a link when this is over of where you can purchase it. But most of the craft stores will, will carry it. It's under fifteen dollars, and it is really handy, especially if you're making a lot of bows. Um, it just kind of saves your hands, and it, it's our it's our go-to bow maker. Yes, it is. It's so much. I made them by hand for years, and believe me. This was just a godsend when we got the Bodabra. Aw, oh, thanks, Leslie. All right. So I have my tails made. Hey, Diane, you definitely can catch the replay. We will have it posted on our page. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of move the tails out of the way right now. And start adding some of my other flowers. I think I will go ahead and add my cute little pom poms. You want this one a little bit smaller than that yes. one? Yes. Okay. So, this bow, I'm just going to be making a little bit smaller than the first bow. It's kind of an accent bow.
But I love this black and white ribbon. I just love the pop of the mm -hmm. black and white ribbon. I love it too. I, I would probably use it in just about everything. <laughs> It just works so well with all of the colors. It just kind of draws your eye, and it's so pretty. So if you guys will share this video, we would really appreciate it. the black and white uh someone said it reminds them of Beetlejuice and yes it, it does. does don't it it sure does but it does it works with so much hey Judy and Tammy hey Tammy I hope you're doing better been thinking about you all right so I'm gonna put my last ribbon in And like I said, this one is the smaller accent bow, so I'm just going to have one um, loop of each pattern on each side on this one. Judy asked if you have to go to floral school to learn how to make these, and no, neither of us went to floral school. No, we did not, Judy, and in fact, we teach people. We have a group where we teach people step by step, even if you've never made a wreath before, how to make these wreaths. And... Uh, Amanda will, when we finish, she'll put the link to our group so that you can find out the information about that. But no, neither one of us uh, went to design school. And uh, uh, Connie, this sign came from Hobby Lobby. No, no, it did. It came from home. Uh, what is it? At home. At home. <laughs> sorry. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, I had to look at the back, and then I said, "No, it's not Hobby Lobby." No. I may rearrange my little pom-poms. I don't know. I may even cut them apart. I haven't decided yet, but there they are for right now. And Cindy said she wishes we would hold a meet and make, and that would be so much fun. And actually, we've we talked about that, We have talked Cindy, about so doing that, Cindy. It's funny um, that you said that because we have just recently been talking about doing that. I want to meet all of our wonderful people in our group, and it would be so much fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, so y'all have to stay tuned because yes. we have some exciting things coming up. Yes, we really do. Yes, Linda, we have used this. We used that in the last wreath. We we used this um, black and white ribbon in a yep. lot of things yes, lately. Yes, we do. All right. I, just, I love it. So I'll let you kind of yeah, I can play with that how you I'm want I'm going to turn the... Uh, wreath this way just um, for a minute until I get the uh, ribbon on. All right, so this is just a smaller accent ribbon. Yes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do while she is um, finishing up and she's putting all her flowers on, I am going to be taking some ornaments because we're going to be using ornaments. These are Christmas ornaments that we got um, during the after Christmas sale. So make sure to do so, that. Yes, we stock we, up yes. after the season. Always after a season, we stock up on all things so that we can use them for the next year. So we got these last, um, right after last Christmas. And I'm going to show you how we attach these. Uh, Joy said that she don't normally do Halloween, but she likes this one because it's not scary. And that's exactly, I don't do scary ones very well. I think I've done one. Uh the whole the whole time and it was a, a custom order but uh, I like the fun happy ones all right so um, what I'm gonna do first I've got some floral picks here and some wood floral picks and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip one in and I'm going to um, put some glue right around the top right here um, where it's already attached, I'm just going to put some glue on here just to give it some extra security. Yes, because if, if you know how the ornaments are, those little tops will 
pop off sometimes and we don't want that to happen. There's actually a couple of different ways that we attach these, but today um, this is the way that we're going to show you. And so I'm just, I'm just covering it with glue right there around the top. I'm going to add some of my leaves while she's doing that. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wire the wood pick to the ornament, or wire the ornament to the wood pick. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry just for a minute longer. That glue's not quite dry yet. And you can, uh, one of the other ways that we occasionally... Uh, will attach them is put a leftover stem. If, if it fits securely in the hole, we'll just glue a stem to the hole. Take that, the silver part out and uh, Oops, do see, that. Oops, popped right so. off. I didn't let it, um, I didn't let it dry long enough. All right, so I'm gonna do another one and then I'm gonna let this one dry a little bit longer. leaves are so pretty because they've got uh, orange <laughs> sprinkled all over them so they are really pretty and if you're just hopping on I'm Amanda this is my mom Sherry we thank you so much for joining us tonight we are making a really whimsical fun hocus pocus Halloween wreath yes and if you're a first-time viewer, let us know in the comments. Just say, just tell us that you're a first-time viewer so that we can say hi to you. Yes, we are so thankful to have you all watching us. That means a lot to us that you take your time to watch us. We know how valuable time is. And if there's something that you would like to see us make, let us know in the comments because we are always looking for new ideas yes, and things are. that we can show you guys and make for you guys. We've got some fun things coming up that we've got planned for you. Yes, we do. In fact, it's hard for me to decide because I'll be trying to decide what are we going to do today and I've got so many that I want to show you all and so. Yeah, I'll just tell you that um, when we decided earlier we had something totally different totally different and then when I came when I got <laughs> she, when I, came, I surprised her <laughs> she's like no I changed my mind yeah. we're gonna do this one yeah so hey Ramona thank you for joining us tonight and Jean thank you hi jo Joanne Aw, thank you Joanne she said we're making something pretty again thank you I know people hey, say Tina. all the time. Hey, Karen. Tamara, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, people say things about, well, why are you making Halloween now? It's the middle of summer. But if you're a wreath maker, you have to do this. You have to make sure that you've got it for your customers. They will start buying very early. Yeah, and if you guys notice, earlier and earlier every year, every the seasonal year. items are coming out mm -hmm. at the stores, or they're putting them out in the stores. So as a designer, you need to go with when they're starting to put things out. You don't want to be behind. You want to make sure that you are getting stuff out. Exactly. You know, and you're starting your inventory early because it seems like it's earlier and earlier every year, but, it is. you know, you kind of have to keep up with the story. Yes, you do. That's exactly right. Uh, Joy said, y'all just amaze me. Also inspire me to keep going on these awful, painful days, and I thank y'all for that. Oh, That's that is wonderful. That's what we're here for. So we, we want to bless you all them you know that's we're so blessed with uh this business and we just we want to give back 
Yeah, that means a lot, Joy. It Thank does. You. Thank you, Joy. Hi, Paula. Oh, Paula said she saw you on the Four Weddings rerun. Yeah. Well, thank you, Paula. If, if any of you did not know, her wedding was featured on the TLC show Four Weddings in New Orleans. And, uh, and we did the flowers for that. Yes, we did do the flowers for, yeah. for my wedding. Well, we did the wreath the, and the bouquets. Yes, and the bouquets. In fact, we recently taught in our Design with the Pros group, we recently taught the wreath that we made for her wedding that was on four weddings. So, we taught the ladies that one. Hey, Donna, yes, we have done many cross wreaths. We sure have. Oh, thank you, Paula. What did she, she say? She said the dress was gorgeous. Oh, and thank the bouquet you. was fab. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That that was probably the most wonderful thing was to be able to make her bouquet for her wedding and that meant a lot. So how many of the ornaments do you want? Um, probably that's enough. Yeah, I may not use the three, but that that's good. We'll just see. Well, Holly says she absolutely loves all things Halloween, any time of the year. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had a, uh, or have a good customer that uh, she actually has a Halloween room. And uh, so she buys all year. Joy, you may be able to see the rerun um, on the TLC website. I'm not sure. I know that she was talking about. They play it pretty often. Yes, they do. Um, and it's called the Harlem Shake. Yes, yeah, called the so Harlem Shake. So look for that one. And that was a lot of fun. I'm just adding some more orange flowers. We're just gonna fill it up with orange. Donna, we haven't done a tutorial on a cross wreath, but that's a good idea, and that yes, may be um, something that we do soon for you guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, Holly says she has a full Halloween tattoo. Wow. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Hey, Alice Marie, thank you for joining us tonight. Okay, about got the flowers, and we'll add just a couple more and then start adding some ornaments and things. Robin, you can see our cotton wreath, and um, it's a how it's a um. Seasonal magazine by Better Homes and Gardens called um, 101 Flea Market Ideas. Yes. And they featured one of our um, cotton wreaths. They've actually featured it two, two, two years in a row. Two years yeah. in a row. Yes. So we were really excited about yes. that and we're really thankful to them. Yes, we are. Hey, Kay. Welcome. Thanks for joining us this evening. We've got a a little touch of purple, but I don't, I'm just going to see. I may not even use this since I've got the purple ornaments, but let's see. Mm, what do you think? Yes or no? Um, she, she's looking off camera because we can't see that Well, maybe put up. the ornaments in and then we'll yeah, see if Yeah, I it think I will. More. That's a good idea. Okay, let's see. And I've got these cute ornaments that I got from Michaels. So I'm gonna, I hadn't decided if I was gonna take them apart or use them just like this, but I'm gonna try this first and we'll just see. Take the 
pieces down so that I can see where I'm putting it. Hey Margaret, thanks for joining us tonight. Most of these supplies came from either Michael's or Hobby Lobby. The sign came from a store called At Home, and some of the ribbon came from Craft Outlet. But we try to find, um, when we do these, when we do our live show, we try to find supplies from places where we know that you guys can get them pretty easily. Yes, yes we do. Hey April, thanks for joining us tonight. Hope you're doing well. I'm not sure about that. I don't like it all together like that, but we'll see. I think it's cute. You do? Well, well then we will do it for now. I'm going to put the other one in here. April, it's hot and muggy here too. Oh yes, it is. So, for those of you that don't know, we're in Alabama. We're in a really small town in Alabama. We're far out in the country, and yes, it is hot and muggy here. So it's hard to even think about Halloween. <laughs> it really is. Until I start doing a wreath, and then it's okay. Tina, we do have our craft. We do have the legs raised up on our craft table. We sure do. We had to make it so it was convenient for us. Yes. When when you're doing this, it's easy easier when it's a little higher. Yeah, and if you guys have not shopped it at home, you need to. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Just plan to spend a long time there. Yeah, they have everything. A long time. And I'm not just wreath obsessed, but I'm home decor obsessed. So I could stay all day in that store. Yes. <laughs> and they have got some, some of everything. No doubt about it. I recently took a friend of mine who had never been and we were there probably several hours just just looking Okay, this one is still wet, so... Okay, that's probably enough. I think, um... I'm not sure how many more. But we'll have them... We'll have them made anyway. You show them the cat? Uh-huh, I showed us at, at the beginning, so show them... Yeah, so we have some cute little black cats to go now. in there. Um, Joyce, I can get you a supply list for this wreath. I sure can. I'll post one um, either later tonight or tomorrow to go with that. Is that Joyce from our group? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, that's the thing. When we make wreaths, we try to think outside of the box. And mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So a lot of times we'll use things that you really wouldn't think about using. Exactly. Um, we also will paint ornaments a lot of times yes. to go in them. If we don't find exactly what we want, we'll just paint them ourselves. Yes, I, I do that. We, we both do that a lot, don't we? So we stock up after the holidays. Yep. The cat picks, they came from Michael's or Hobby Lobby? Uh, Michael's. The cat picks, yes, they came mm -hmm. from Michael's. They sure did. Mm -hmm. Hey, Debbie. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's, I need one more of something, so wait this a minute. Yes, and for those of you that are just joining us, um, we're using an 18-inch wreath base. This is just a styrofoam pumpkin that was painted. A friend of ours painted it for us. It, um, it's just a normal orange um, pumpkin like that you could find at any kind of craft store, styrofoam pumpkin. Painted it orange and then um, painted the black stripes and the white polka dots on it. 
Then we just wired our sign right onto the wreath uh, base, onto the grapevine base. Okay. I'm going to turn it this way just briefly so that I can see what else I need to add. Kim, we primarily do grapevine. Now we do some other things, you know, and we'll have custom orders for other um, type of wreaths, mesh wreaths, ribbon wreaths, things like that. But grapevine wreaths are what we are known for, and mm -hmm. that's our specialty. So, and that's what we really enjoy. That's doing. what, yes, exactly. I think I'm going to add just a few of these. Um, Kay leaves. was asking what kind of fruits that we use in fall wreaths. Well, we use oh. grapes in our fall wreaths. Yes, we do. We use. Um, any kind of um, pomegranates, pomegranates um, we use artichoke, we use, yes. of course, the pumpkins and pumpkins. things like that, but um, we use uh, things like that, and then a lot of times we'll um, glitter them and sugar them ourselves right? to kind of give them that iridescent um, kind of fallish look. Yes, in fact, I think we have a, a YouTube. Yes, we do have a video on how to do that, on too. how to do so that. So, if you guys check us out on YouTube... Um, uh, and if you're watching from our YouTube channel, just uh, search. We do have a, a tutorial on how exactly how to make these bows and on how to sugar and glitter your own fruit and vegetables for your wreaths. Yes. And right now I'm just adding some. Hey, Janet and Loretta. I know you guys are coming in late, but you can uh, watch the replay. We will post it right after we're done. Yes. And as we tell our ladies in our group, always put something under the bow and on either side of the bow. It helps keep the bow in the right place. Yeah, and, and really, it also really, looks good from the side. It so, does. You know, when you have it hanging on your door at your house, or if you're making it for a customer and they having it have it hanging on the door, you want to make sure that it still looks good and full from the side. So exactly. we always put flowers behind our bows. Um, we always do that. Yes. You can buy grapevine wreaths, Karen, um, in Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Um, Joanne's. Joanne's. Any time, any, you know, I think even Walmart carries grapevine they do. wreaths. Yeah. So any kind of craft store. And you can order them online from, uh, I know from Michaels and Joanne's and Hobby Lobby. And this is an 18 inch one. Uh, a lot of times you'll see us use uh, 14 inch, but because of the pumpkin, the size of the pumpkin and the sign and all, we did go with an 18 inch for this one. Yeah, and the 18 inch wreaths are a lot easier to find than the 14. 18 inch bases you can usually find pretty much yeah. any, um, any craft store will have those. The 14 inch are a little bit harder to find. Not all of the stores carry that 14 inch. I've still oh, got to put my cats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little something under that hydrangea right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks ladies they're saying it turned out beautiful oh thank you 
I still have to put my cats in though. I have not put my cats in. I was waiting for the last for those. Let me get this, and I see another spot I need some more leaves. I see a couple of spots. Right um, retail, probably the cheapest that you're going to find the grapevine wreaths is at Walmart. Now, what you need to do, though, what I suggest you do is you wait for the stores to have coupons. Uh, because Michael's will have, a, like, a sometimes they'll have a 40% off your entire order online, and you can order several grapevine wreaths at a time so you can get them for really inexpensive when you do that. So we stock up that way. But if you're going to buy them, go to the retail outlet, probably Walmart, or look for your coupons and that will be the cheapest way you can find them. And I am just curling Did you want to leave my these tails. Curl, these? Um, curl those too. The ones that you can. You can leave some of them. So we're just taking our ribbons and just curling them. Yep. And now if you wanted them to stay, you can just put a little touch of glue and they'll stay for you that way, but we don't usually glue them just so that our customers can decide if they want them curled or not. I'm kind of looking from the side, so I can't really see. I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard working from the side now. There's no doubt about that. But. Yeah, and that's a good tip. Robin um, just put in the comments that Michaels has started accepting competitors' coupons. Yes. And they have. So that's a really great tip because yes, they'll now is. accept Hobby Lobby or Joanne's coupons. Yes. So that makes things... Oh, that, that yeah. helps That helps out a lot. We definitely like to um, coupon and buy things as inexpensively as we can. Yes, because that just means more money in your pocket. So you always want to do that. Okay. I'm going to turn Thank it you. this way. Uh, yeah, definitely, Phyllis. Come back later and watch it. We'll have the replay both on YouTube and on our Facebook page. Yes. And I think that we've got it. I may tweak it here and there just a bit. Oh, I didn't put my cats in. Yeah, you can't forget the cats. Cannot forget my kitties. These are so cute. The little whiskers. They are just so cute. I think I'm going to put one hiding right up here. Because anybody that's got cats, and I have four of them, know that kitties can be real sneaky so he is sitting there ready to get into something and then let's see i think i will put this one over here So now once yeah. we're done, we'll just go and we'll clip off the backs because we do leave our stems long. So we do have a lot of um, stems here in the back. So we'll clip them really close to the grapevine. Yep. So there we go. All right, guys. So there is your finished wreath, our Hocus Pocus wreath. Yeah. Give us some hearts. If you love it, yes, and I hope that you do, know. let us know. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment them, and we'll be checking and answering questions. We're always here to help you guys. If you are interested in our Design with the Pros Club, it is a monthly membership group where we teach you step-by-step -step how to make designer wreaths. We also, in that group, teach you how to sell your wreaths. So we teach you how to make the ordinary front door extraordinary and how to sell your designs and make money. 
So if you guys are interested in that, I'll put the link in the comments of where you can find us online. Yes, we would love to have you join us. We have such a good time. And if any of our ladies are here, just shout out and let them know if you enjoy our group. Um, but we do. We have a, a really good time in there. And our ladies are amazing. They are just, uh, they're so encouraging to one another. And we're just so blessed by everyone in our group. We thank you, ladies. Um, yeah, and you guys, we have tons of tutorials yes, on how to make do. reads, on so YouTube. make sure that you follow us on Facebook, that you're following our page and like our page, and you can go and check out um, tons of tutorials there. We also have a lot of tutorials on our YouTube page, so make sure that yes. you're, you subscribe to our YouTube channel and that you scroll through our page in our channel and watch all of our tutorials on there. Aw, and Bob, hi. Thank you. Thank you so much. He said it was beautiful, and it's always fun watching us. Thank you, Bob. And I see several saying that they love our group, and so I appreciate that. And thank you, Linda. She said it was absolutely beautiful. Good. So I'm so we, glad We're just glad that it. you enjoyed it. That's exactly right. And uh, so... Thank you all so for joining us. So thank you guys us. so much. We're going to hop off here, but we will be back in a couple of days, so stay tuned. Yes. And we hope We will that, be back on Thursday night at 7. Yeah, Thursday, um, July 19th at 7 o'clock. We will be live, so make sure you guys tune in for that. That's Central Time, too. Central Standard Time, yes. right? Yep. Yeah, and so I hope you guys have a great night, and we will talk to you guys soon. Thank you.